Busy in the all-white strip did most of the early attacking, though Spurs looked the more dangerous on the break. Gary Mabbott's volley is magnificently saved by Di Davis in the Swansea goal. Nil-nil at half-time in front of a 17,000 crowd, but as the second period got underway, it was the eager probing of Robbie James down the right-hand flank which began to open up the Spurs' defence. A corner by Leighton James was nodded on by Alan Curtis, and it's Max Thompson who puts Swansea ahead 15 minutes into the second half. While the crowd was still enjoying this, the Vetchfield supporters had more to cheer 12 minutes later when Curtis provides Bob Latchford with the opening for Swansea's second goal. So the Welsh club emphatically halted a four-run losing sequence in the league. What the Spurs manager Keith Birkinshaw had to say afterwards talking to Martin Tyler. Well, certainly I don't think we would have started it in England. Uh, possibly the referee looked at the situation and said, well, uh, it would mean a further day's stay uh, for the Tottenham team if we, if we uh, didn't play it. I understand uh, Bayern said it could have been played tomorrow. Yes, I think Bayern would have been willing to have called it off at uh, half-time. Uh, their place seemed uh, as though they felt that uh, it wasn't real conditions out there. Um, but... The referee decided to play it and uh, at the end of the day we've no complaints. And there will be no protest to UEFA.